So when I was growing up in England, there was this store called Marks and Spencer, Marks and, Spencer. and it was well, the American equivalent, right? It would probably be Belk, you know. So it's a clothing store, but it also has home goods, and for some reason, every mall has one. It's right. Okay, so. Apparently, in recent years, they have renamed the store from Marks and Spencer to M and S, which seems awfully generic. But not well, anyway. But they released this commercial, a Christmas commercial, and I want to watch it with you because I think, in some sense, it's illustrative of what so many modern corporations are doing, but also what like, the greater leftist mantra is in terms of just sort of tearing down and destroying uh, tradition. So we can talk about more afterwards, but let's go ahead and get into it, alright? So, here we are. Oh, I would do anything for love. It's funny, the moment you see this guy, you know that he's gay. It's like, it just takes a second to know, because he's like fully embraced that um, yeah, he's just literally chosen to, to embrace the so-called gay lifestyle. But, you know, we're talking about Christmas, which is, you know, a, a Christian event and also something that is steeped in so much tradition, both in society and, you know, at an individual family level. You know it's true and that's a fact Oh, I will do Okay, uh, I'm going to pause it there for a second, because, you know, what we're seeing are essentially, you know, the different traditions that families have to do at Christmas, and for some reason there's, there's this urge to just burn it all and destroy it all, and that that's, I don't know, just very contemporary, and, like, there's something advantageous about destroying this? Why? Like, what was wrong with those traditions specifically? Well, nothing, except for the fact that they existed before. Anyway, we'll continue. I mean, if someone did act in the way that the people, the so-called heroes of this commercial acted, they'd be, like, really trashy people. Like, seriously, if you were to go up into the middle of the Monopoly game and throw it in the air, well, you're not embracing a Christmas spirit, you're not even being a decent person, you're just destroying everybody else's activity. And I'm not sure like, how you say, okay, well, this is what I want to be, you know, uh, but I guess the, the modern uh, leaning is towards selfishness, right? This Christmas, do only what you love. Okay, and that's the full commercial, so it's not like I'm deceptively editing the way that this is, it's simply is that. There's something really depressing about it as a commercial. <laughs> it, it doesn't make me feel good, Let's, let me go buy that stuff, I don't know about you. Um, but I do think there's something there in which, you know, even, even if you take away the theological element behind Christmas and just keep it as, like, the secular celebration, which largely it is, especially in England, um, you still have a season where people talk about certain values of giving and selflessness, and this entire commercial is all about no. Like, instead, let me reframe every celebration about me, and you know, it's like taking it from the self, from the selflessness to selfishness, and placing that, you know, that that incredible emphasis on oneself. But I do think that the there's a modern desire amongst the the left to sort of want a year zero moment, right? So that was 
oh gosh, that was in uh, Cambodia with uh, the Khmer Rouge takeover, this, this concept of the year zero, where we're, we're basically starting over, we're throwing out every tradition and value set of the current society so that we can start over and start fresh and reproduce this the society as it ought to be, as it were, in the opinion of the Khmer Rouge, uh, the communists, who killed vast numbers of people in horrific ways in order to bring about their thing. You know, they were the, they were amongst other communist regimes. They did the whole thing: if you were wearing glasses, you would be uh, murdered, and that kind of stuff. But I think our modern leftists look at this very similarly in that any anything that reminds us of like former days, anything that reminds us of our ancestors, of tradition, all needs to go. And the rationale for that is, well, people were bad in the past, as if, you know, as if they're the sort of, I don't know, paragons of virtue or something. But they can find something wrong with people of the past, and therefore all of the past needs to burn, and they need to start completely over. And then they consider themselves, because they're so inwardly focused, to be, I don't know, capable of recreating a society from scratch, from nothing. It's like, it's so narcissistic when you really think about it in those terms. And by the way, this store, whether you want to call it Marks and Spencer or M&S, uh, they also posted on Twitter this screenshot from the outtakes of the a prior commercial. And in the screenshot, you can see they've got little paper hats that are burning. Well, the paper hats happen to be the same colors as the Palestinian flag. So they got a lot of, well, I was going to say people upset, but specifically they offended lots of Muslims. And so for that reason, they removed that picture. You know, all I can think is it must be so hard to maintain this kind of worldview such that you're constantly trying to appeal to different groups and not offend other groups and maintain consistent uh, some kind of constancy at least but yet also slide further and further toward the left in accordance with what is expected of you by this by this group think it's insane but that's that's what they've chosen to do but yeah i wanted to share that with you because i think that and I wonder if this Christmas season we'll see more of these kinds of ads about breaking down barriers and traditions and values, you know, and all these things. Because because you had, of course, the gay men in the commercial. Just to in case in case it was not clear what it was they were trying to say, they just kind of put that in there. Uh, it's it's really sad because there are so many kids and stuff who, particularly enjoy Christmas and who are just bombarded what, with so many just evil messages all at once. But I do wonder, I think this is something we should watch and see if this is a sort of a part of a pattern that we're going to see as the Christmas commercials roll out. If you enjoyed that video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also share it with your friends. I've got links in the description down below that can help you to support me in different ways. Thank you.